Greetings YouTubers. This video is going to be a short demonstration of the Pro Mode for YouTube Video Editor Chrome extension. Before I actually demonstrate the extension, I'm going to uh, go ahead and show you the YouTube Video Editor uh, and sort of demonstrate why I thought this uh, Chrome extension would be useful. So the YouTube uh, Video Editor can be a uh, accessed at uh, youtube.com slash editor um, one thing that you'll see or notice right off the bat is uh, the tendency of the video editor to uh, automatically play um, basically whenever you do anything um, this uh, means that you always are having to go over and click the pause button um, if you're not actually wanting to play something. S uh, another thing about the, the YouTube video editor, it's, it hasn't been updated in, in several years. Uh, I think it's essentially deprecated. Um, I hope eventually you, uh, Google or YouTube gets around to updating it um, because it is, uh, or has the potential to be a useful uh, application. Um, so what I'm going to demonstrate here is uh, I've just got some video clips uh, on the timeline here. Uh, this is a project I already was working on. And so it, if I, say, wanted to add a new clip to the end of this, um, you just go to your video clips, pick one out, uh, add, add it, um, and you see it automatically starts playing. Um, say I make some changes here, do the stabilize video, um, and then I close that. Now what you see happened was it uh, automatically went back to the beginning of the timeline and started playing. So if I wanted to make some more changes uh, or add, say, a transition before that clip, I have to pause go back to the end and then drag it uh, and you see it starts playing again um, close that go back maybe I want to do another transition here the same thing happens again so I'm constantly having to click back and forth and scroll through the timeline and once you get uh, past a certain length um, it just becomes uh, really difficult to use. Um, what I ended up doing before I created the Chrome extension was basically to work backwards on the video, um, which meant that whenever I was making changes, it, it was always at the beginning um, of the timeline. Uh, but that requires you to think through what you're doing, uh, the order that you want things to go, um, and it's just a hassle. Uh, so, enter the uh, Chrome extension I created, uh, Pro Mode for YouTube Video Editor. This is uh, obviously just for Chrome. Um, I've not tested it on other platforms other than the Mac, but I uh, I believe that you should not run into any issues with it. So I don't know for sure that it, it's going to work on um, uh, Chrome OS. Uh, I assume it will, but. Uh, and I haven't had any feedback from people saying it wouldn't work, but uh, anyway, your mileage uh, may vary. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, add the extension. So now it's added, and I go back to the video editor, and all I have to do is reload the page, and uh, so now the Pro Mode uh, extension is active. And what you'll see, um, just to give you a clue that it is active, is the uh, red background or red border um, on the page. So to start with, um, it's mostly going to be keyboard commands. Uh, and that's just so that you can do your edits quickly. Um, and to for reference on what the commands are, uh, you hit the H key and it will bring up a help screen. Uh, and so there's H uh, to bring this screen up, 
there is control A which is going to toggle the extension on and off um, you can sort the photos alphabetically on the images tab so if you've got photos loaded up uh, it will uh, at the first time you go into the photos pay photos it will be in the correct order if you reload the page though the photos get out of order and so this uh, pressing S will sort them into the into an alphabetic order uh, close is C which is close the currently selected clip um, if you are uh, have a picture selected and you press K that will toggle the pan zoom or Ken Burns effect on the clip um, plus and minus will increase or decrease the length of the clip by one second um, which comes in handy on those uh, image clips if you wanted to um, all your image clips to be longer than the default of five seconds that allows you to edit them quickly um, P will scroll your timeline to the whatever clip you have currently selected um, so if you've got something selected but you've scrolled the uh, uh, scrubber off somewhere else you can go back to what you're you're currently focused on um, the uh, square bracket keys will scroll you to the beginning and end of the current clip that you're on that you have selected uh, dot and comma will select the next and previous clip uh, on the timeline and then uh, keys or numbers one through six on the keyboard will select the various tabs that you have uh, up here the uh, movie or video, copyright, photos, etc. And then finally right arrow and left arrow will scroll you uh, forward and backward um, through the timeline. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate some of the functionality here. Firstly, if we uh, go to what we were doing before where we added a transition, if I add a transition now you can see the video is paused. Uh, the timeline stays in the in the same place. Um, if I close this clip, the selected clip, it stays in the same place. So <coughs> it's a it's a pretty handy feature. Um, and the other thing, the uh, big obvious thing, is you got this scrubber timeline scrubber th um, right here, which will automatically seek the video to the, the wherever you're at on the timeline um, and then you've got the uh, play pause uh, button over here which can also be controlled via the space bar um, so hit play and it plays from plays from right where we are or if I hit the space bar plays right there so <clears throat> um, okay so I can uh, select the a clip using period. Uh, select the next clip with period again. Uh, select the previous clip with comma. I can um, increase the duration of this clip using the plus key. I'm gonna, and it will increase it by default of one second. And then minus will decrease the clip length or play time of that clip. Um, so here's a picture of me. Uh, so right now I've got pan and zoom or the Ken Burns effect turned on. If you uh, play it, you can see Ken Burns is working. If I hit K now on the keyboard, that's going to turn off of off the pan and zoom. Um, and the main reason we have that as opposed to s these other things is I used uh, that pan and zoom quite a bit when I was uh, editing some videos um, and again I can increase the length of the clip um, or decrease it with the keyboard I can close this uh, or deselect the current uh, clip by pressing the C button and it will stay the timeline will stay where I was at um, I can go ahead and, and toggle th or cycle through the different uh, options here, the different tabs, 
using the keyboard. So I'm pressing that's two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's see what else do we want to show here? I can scroll the timeline just using the arrow keys. Just kind of a quick way to move through the uh, through the timeline. Let's see what else I can. Uh, there's the uh, sorting of the photos too here. I'm not sure if those are those are already in order, but if I add some more. Uh, let's see now. Okay, so those are out of order. I should and now they're in order. So see. So it it's just basically to work around a, a bug in the in the UI um, where it, it puts the gets the pictures out of order so comes in handy um, yeah I think that's about it I can add a title oops yeah so I added a title to Oh, that it is. There is one thing that you'll notice when um, when a a text field is being entered, like right here, the uh, hotkeys are disabled, and that's so that you can enter your text. Um, and it'll it'll turn back on once you take the focus out of the text input. Same thing for up here. Um, it's just a workaround for. Uh, those keyboard keyboard commands, so you don't have to use a, a modifier key. Um, so I'll close that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if anybody has any uh, comments or suggestions, features they would like, uh, just uh, leave some comments below.